10 Bone Chilling Books That Will Leave You Sleepless These aren't feel-good fairy tales. These books push past societal boundaries to explore the human psyche's desire and capacity for depravity and torment. Each author takes readers on a twisted voyage, unsettling them with a unique blend of visceral storytelling and relentless suspense. These stories will haunt you and make sleep your forgotten friend. Warning: This list contains spoilers. And if you are easily offended or have been called sensitive, these books are not for you. These aren't feel-good fairy tales. These books push past societal boundaries to explore the human psyche's desire and capacity for depravity and torment. Each author takes readers on a twisted voyage, unsettling them with a unique blend of visceral storytelling and relentless suspense. These stories will haunt you and make sleep your forgotten friend. Warning: This list contains spoilers. And if you are easily offended or have been called sensitive, these books are not for you. 10. Unwind by Neil Shusterman Shusterman paints a portrait of a society where the value of life is twisted. In this world, parents can unwind their teenage children, harvesting and donating their organs. Unwinding allows parents to rid themselves of their unwanted children while the child technically lives on through their donated organs. The threat of unwinding looms over every decision, forcing readers to question the very essence of humanity and the value we place on life. Shusterman's prose is razor-sharp, cutting through our complacency and challenging our notions of right and wrong. Unwind is an unrelenting tour de force that will keep you awake at night, contemplating the chilling possibilities of a future that isn't as far-fetched as we might want to believe. Brace yourself for an unforgettable journey that will leave you questioning the very fabric of our existence. 9. The Collector by John Fowles Readers are thrust into the disturbing realm that inspired Silence of the Lambs. Within these pages, Fowles delves into the twisted mind of Frederick. His dark fantasies manifest when he abducts Miranda, plunging her into a nightmare of captivity. What sets the collector apart is Fowles' ability to transcend the boundaries of traditional thrillers. Showing that Miranda's struggle for survival is not just physical but a battle against her own preconceptions and prejudices, Fowles forces readers to confront uncomfortable questions about empathy, morality, and the depths of human darkness. Fowles's exceptional storytelling traps you within the minds of the disturbed, immersing you in a clash between captor and captive. The Collector is not a mere book, it is an experience that will leave you questioning your own capacity for darkness and the lengths you would go to survive. 8. Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Bezterica Disturbing books, Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Bezterica set in a society devastated by a deadly virus that renders animal meat lethal, governments legalize the consumption of human flesh. This leads to the commercial breeding of humans for meat, Bezterica masterfully weaves a narrative that challenges our notions of morality, making the reader an unwilling witness to the fragility of the human spirit and the unimaginable treatment of those deemed as lesser. Tender is the flesh is not a book that will easily leave your thoughts as it invites you to question humanity's essence and leaves you pondering the balance between a moral civilization and legal savagery. When finished, you'll be left with a sense of unease about the potential depths humanity can sink. 7. The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks Spoiler-free horror book review Banks masterfully crafts a narrative that draws you deeper into the dark mind of the protagonist, Frank Caldheim, a 16-year-old who lives on a remote island with his father for his entire life. Frank's dad has taught him to hate women and that his own genitals were ripped off by the family dog when he was three. Because of this, Frank believes that everyone is doomed to suffer and takes pleasure in inflicting pain on others. Killing and mutilating small animals to use them in bizarre rituals is a routine part of Frank's life. He murders three relatives after consulting the wasp factory, a device he made himself that uses live wasps to predict the fates of others. The novel turns even darker when Frank discovers several truths about his life. The biggest being his father lied to him about his gender and has been giving him hormones to make him appear male. This revelation sends Frank into a spiral of rage. Needless to say, this is not a book for the faint of heart. Banks doesn't shy away from the dark side of human nature and forces readers to confront disturbing truths about violence, gore, and psychological terror. 6. Take Me With You by Nina G. Jones, the darkest romance books I have read using a raw and gritty writing style, Jones navigates the twisted depths of a connection between two individuals. 
the story centers around Sam, an intelligent and methodical predator known as the Night Prowler, and Vesper, a soon-to-be nurse who unwittingly becomes the object of his fascination. As Sam meticulously stalks Vesper, the narrative unravels into an unsettling intimacy. Jones fearlessly forces readers to confront their deepest fears and grapple with the complexities of power dynamics, manipulation, and control. Diving into the psychological impact of captivity, Vesper's struggle for survival intertwines with her desperate attempts to maintain her own sense of identity. Jones masterfully weaves a web of suspense, leaving readers on the edge of their seats, questioning their own sense of safety. There's a reason that when asked about potential trigger warnings, Jones replied, if you need one, this is not the book for you. 5. Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison One of the most fed-up books I've read Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison Dead Inside isn't for anyone that isn't already a fan of the extreme horror and dark romance genres. Morrison's novel is described by many as being the sickest thing they've ever read. From the start, the main character's proclivity for necrophilia sets the stage for a story that unflinchingly depicts cannibalism, pedophilia, and rape. This book will leave you sleepless, not only due to its graphic and explicit content, but also because there is a strange and unexpected sense of companionship. As the hospital security guard and the maternity doctor come together, both grappling with their own twisted desires, they find solace in their shared abnormality. Morrison doesn't shy away from the gritty details either and delivers a brutal and unapologetic narrative. Urging readers to question what it truly means to be alive, and the frightening realization that sometimes, being alive may not always be a good thing. For Now You're One of Us by Asa Nanami Nightmare Queens Now You're One of Us by Asa Nanami Noriko is a young woman who marries into a large and close-knit family. The Shidos, as they are known, are outwardly friendly and welcoming, but Noriko soon begins to suspect that something is not quite right. There are late-night conversations that suggest secrets are being kept from her and suspicious behavior that doesn't seem to add up. As Noriko tries to piece together the truth about her new family, she finds herself drawn into a dark and twisted world where nothing is as it seems. Nanami masterfully crafts an intricate web of suspense, keeping you on the edge of your seat as Noriko's idyllic life turns into a nightmarish descent into the unknown. And as the tendrils of suspicion tighten around Noriko, the unsettling presence of their flourishing plants takes on a sinister significance, brilliantly shows the dark side of strong familial bonds, manipulation, and the lengths people will go to maintain an illusion. Brace yourself. Now you're one of us will leave you questioning everyone we think we know. 3. To Be Devoured by Sarah Tantlinger Weird Books for Weird People in Sarah Tantlinger's haunting novella, To Be Devoured, a sinister obsession takes hold, Andy, tormented by her own inner demons, finds comfort in the vultures outside her home. Andy's struggles with mental health are painted vividly, making readers empathize with her anguish and desperation. Tantlinger masterfully employs an unreliable narrator, drawing us deeper into Andy's unraveling psyche. As her obsession intensifies, Andy's actions become increasingly disturbing, causing her morality to crumble like the decaying fleshy craves. Tob devoured is an unrelenting emotional assault on our own descent into madness. Tantlinger's ability to evoke raw emotions expertly traps readers between sympathy and terror as we witness Andy's transformation into a vessel of macabre desires. 2. Cows by Matthew Stokey So I read Cows by Matthew Stokey. Mother's corpse in bits, dead dog on the roof, girlfriend in a coma, baby nailed to the wall, and a hundred tons of homicidal beef stampeding through the tube system is the only description Goodreads gives for Stokey's debut novel. Stevens a man trapped in a nightmare where he is tormented by his sadistic mother, aptly dubbed the Hog Beast. His only friend is a broken dog named Dog. Stephen is propelled deeper into the realm of terror when he takes a job at the local slaughterhouse. This is where the deranged foreman, Cripps, convinces Stephen that killing is the best way to empower himself, blurring the mental line between man and monster. Amid this grotesque panorama, Stephen encounters Lucy, his upstairs neighbor, who is obsessed with vivisection, offering a glimmer of hope for a better life. Stokey masterfully dismantles the notion of good taste, leaving readers in anguish through disturbing imagery. This is not a book for the weak stomached. Be prepared for a blood soaked labyrinth that will shake you to your core. One Hog by Samuel R. Delaney. The most difficult book I've talked about on the channel. Hog by Samuel R. Delaney. Samuel R. Delaney's controversial novel will mercilessly strip away your comfort and plunge you into the depths of human depravity. It's an erotic book that challenges readers' traditional notions of arousal and fear. Sexual activity is on almost every one of its pages. Its unbridled sexual excess, rape, pederasty, violence, and abuse from the start make the reader cringe. 
The story is told through the distorted lens of a detached and desensitized child. Despite the repulsive nature of Hogg, Delaney's artistry in depicting him is so compelling that even in the end, their enigmatic bond evokes a complex mix of repulsion and reluctant empathy. Hogg tests the boundaries of our perception of depravity and the limits of what a reader can endure. Themes of child molestation, rape, violence, racial slurs, or coprophilia are common throughout the book, did I end short, none of these titles or books to check out from the library if you want a good night's sleep.